brought to you by Hanover Forage Clubs. Good day, everyone. Welcome back to another training with Jamaica Forage Clubs. Today, we'll be looking at preserving our foods. Food preservation plays an important role in food security, and food security ensures a nation to have food even in times of drought and other periods when it is difficult to grow your crops. Now, today, we have a basket here with crops from our home garden. In it, we have our string beans, tomatoes, sweet peppers, carrots, and okras. Now, before we go ahead to preserve our foods, we have to select our vegetables. So today, we have our cauliflower uh -huh. from our garden. Now, in selecting the cauliflower that we'll be using, to blanch and freeze, we have to ensure that it is free from blemishes, dark in colors, not a lot of worm. This one is worm free. So this one is ideal, right? It's not overripe because it has the creamy white color. So this is ideal for our freezing. Our okras, they should be mature but not over mature because when they are over mature they become hard so we want to ensure that they are mature free from blemishes bruises cuts because once our vegetables have cuts on them then we know that their lifespan is reduced our carrots should be firm not always as large as this i had a good crop so they will not always be as large as this however they should be firm they should be mature they should be free from cuts and bruises and blemishes again we don't want to reduce the lifespan and sometimes it's best you choose the ones that are straight because we'll have less wastage our sweet peppers should be firm and this is when we know that they are fit enough they should of course be free from cuts and bruises and blemishes and dark in colors this again is an ideal sweet pepper and you notice they are a bit small. I had to struggle with some drought. And your tomatoes, your tomatoes should be rounded, red, firm, right? Firm to the touch because we want that sweet flavor, but we don't want it overripe. Your string beans, lovely string beans, bright and green and firm, firm, and we snap it and we hear that crunch. So we know all our vegetables here are ready to be blanched and blanching is part boiling up food, right? Just enough cooking to keep them fresh and to preserve their color and flavor. So we are going to blanch and then we are going to carry out other processes before freezing. And today we have with us Miss Claudia Elvi home economic specialist of Western region, and she's going to take you timely through the process of blanching, shocking, and freezing your vegetables to have them when they are not in season or when they are very expensive. Thank you for watching this part and do stay with us because there's more to enjoy. Now I will be preparing my vegetables they were washed already. So now this is a piece of cauliflower. So I am going to remove the florets from off the stalk. Right here you can either cut them or you just break them into bite-sized pieces. Ochres, which I will be blanching them whole so I will be just cutting off the tops the string beans you can break these if you want it 
den Wellen zu. Next, I'm using my crinkle cutter to cut the carrot in slices. All right, that one didn't come out so good. sweet pepper which has been de-seeded already so now I am going to slice now you can cut your sweet peppers lengthwise if you prefer the cauliflower florets in the colander and now I will place it in the boiling water. As you can see the water is boiling rapidly and salt has been added to it for flavor and to retain color. This will now boil for three minutes after which it will be placed in the ice water. We have now placed the cauliflower in ice water bath for three minutes. And this stops the, the cooking of the cauliflower. Next, we have added our carrots and we will immerse in the boiling water. This will be for two minutes because they are sliced. If there were whole carrot, then the time would be three to five minutes. Now I have removed the cauliflower from the ice water bath and now I will place them on absorbent paper to absorb the water to prevent ice crystals from forming. Now I'm going to just spread so it will dry quickly. I love the carrot, they are bright and rich in vitamin A, good for your eyes. Now we are going to shock again in the ice water bath. Now the blanched vegetables will be placed in the freezer bag. It is important that the freezer bag be labeled with the list of ingredients, the manufacturer's name, the, man, the manufacturer's address, the best before date, the manufacturer's date, and the net weight. Here we have our Western homegrown veggies which are ready to be frozen. Thank you for watching and come back next time.